and welcome back to Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes. Today is the Kanan event, and this is a thing that will give everyone basically counter chance. We all know that Harris and Dula who is now level 59 for me she's probably around her up to 60 um, gives rise together which each phoenix ally grants the unique ability to other phoenix allies and today is the day that Kanan gets added and his is clear mind which gives him counter chance whenever he suffers a debuff And that goes all the way up to 70% counter chance and 25% health. So if my theory is correct, every single Phoenix ally will get counter chance. So let's go see if that is. But we probably won't have her. Actually, we will have her here. So I think it'll be like at least 30%. So we'll have Hera, uh, Ahsoka, Land, actually no, not Lando, Wedge, let's do Leia, and what should we do last? Oh, Rex, I keep forgetting about Rex. So let's go see if Hera and Kanan both get counter chance. I know Kanan will, but not sure about Hera. So we're just gonna give these guys as much turn away as you can so we can see what happens. And hopefully they attack. Okay, Kanan just got counter chance hmm. I mean I like how he looks they don't look so good together all the Phoenix people I'm supposed to get chopper in the next three to four days I'm at missing seven more uh, shard to unlock. Um, what do these do? Just builds up also from health. Do physical challenge target only in top for two targets. What is the target? Then dispel effects on another target ally. Kena has the top of his tenacity is double. I guess. So now he has top. That sounds good. Yay. We completed the first part. Oh wow, we automatically unlock. <laughs> 100% already automatically unlock. Um, what do we get for these? Five. Probably just enough to rank him up. I think. I hope. Yeah. Um, so we'll just go faster now. And... Actually, I kind of want to use my new Darth Maul. I just got him to 85. And I got a ship to max level 2. So I'm just waiting on finishing regular Maul. The ship's almost done. It's at 5 star. So, so I use my team that I'm building right now. So let's include Poe. Plo. Let's just use <laughs> Tuscan Raider just for the fun of it. Been working on him too. Slowly. Um, actually, Eat Koth is not done yet. Even though he looks done because he's 85, 7 stars. Oh, and the stars of interest. Ooh, I'm about to get to 7 stars in about like a day. She only needs like 10 more shards. Uh, 
be. Well, I can't he's going fast. Is he like that? Okay. Yeah, Saw's so Venture doesn't have any protection because she's only in blue gear. I'm just starring her up right now. And let's do this. Everybody's dead. That's what I like about having a level 85 gear 10 Darth Maul. shards so we're 30 out of 25 and before I forget let me go get a couple screenshots one of that no not activate yet don't activate yet mm -hmm. um, manage uh, who just reason that marker okay Oh yeah, if you notice as well, I changed my username as well. So this guy just recently got locked in inventory. So now he must be all the way down at the bottom. There he is. And this is how I make my screenshots. I just wait till they fill a turn, and then screenshot. And then I edit it in the thing. Wow. 30,000. Okay. There was some character I wanted to rank level up. Oh. The hen. I think I wanted to get at least 61. So I can equip that piece. No, if it's one character, is can equip. Oh, wait, he can be upgraded. Okay. To gear level 8. Equip that. Equip that. He's only at five stars. So, yeah, he's the next ship I'm working on, which is the Geonosian Starfighter. As you can see, Scimitar is at 85. And somehow, Darth Vader's ship is still winning. Even though Darth Vader is now at six stars, I just got him to six stars like a day ago. And level 80, he still has more power than Darth Maul. At 85, 7 stars. They're both at the same gear level. And Darth Maul is at 5 stars, while Darth Vader is at 4. Yeah, other than that, I'm, I'm only working on the Scimitar. Scimitar right now. Genos and Soldiers next. Which actually. Anyways, back to the Kanan event. Just wanted to do that before somebody leveled him up. Because it has to be from a guildmate, not me. So it doesn't have the gear things around him. It's all defense. Just build spells from Kanan. Kanan is like the alligator's protection. Um. Oh, wait. Does he get, like, anything? I forget. I'm not gonna unlock him now. I'm just checking. Um, no, he doesn't have a leader ability, so any Jedi lead would work. So, critical off offense in nine percent critical chance, and cover effects five percent of their max health and scoring is critical hit. Uh, he's cough. Jedi, I'll just get sixty percent defense. I rather give the speed. So let's do Eeth Cough. And. Oh, yeah, I still want to get the speed. So we're doing all Jedi that I am currently working on. And 
and everybody will basically one shot except for Kane and Yoda and Eeth Koth it looks like not everybody has the perfect mods yet I don't think even Qui-Gon done it does yet and I'm waiting on two pieces of his gear right now basically all of them have health mods which is basically the standard normal some of them have defense because I have mostly Jedi but I will probably work on mods later I'm just getting on max star gear and level But yeah, a lot of these characters need a rework. Especially Plo Koon and Mace Windu, I think. Like, Mace Windu doesn't... Like, he's supposed to get that exposed thing. I'll show you once he pops up. Uh, it's quite gone. Actually, let me just see if the dolls on So yeah, here's Mace. He deals physical damage to target enemy. If Mace is above 50% health, his attack deals 50% more damage. Which is basically all the time, because you look at all that health. If Mace is below 50%, he recovers heals equal to 70% of the damage dealt. Which is about like 5,000 for me. So whatever 70% of that thousand is. And that is just to dispel all buffs. Positive status effects. And this one is the thing that needs to be reworked. And it's already did get reworked is what I heard. But it needs to do it again. So yeah, at the start of each of his turns, Maze has a 45% chance to expose a random enemy until the end of his turn. That's at max level. 45%. This effect cannot be resisted. In addition, Maze gains 25% turn meter when he attacks the exposed enemy. Now, exposed is like a red thing that appears over the enemies here. None of them have it, so that's kind of a useless thing. It should be like at least maybe 60%. 45. That is quite low. And Plo Koon is a weird one too. I'll show him once he pops up on this last tier. Oh, okay. No, not Luminar. Heath Koth. Okay. And... I kind of wanted to do Kit Fister just because he might die, but... Oh, well. Clear Mind Grins can a chance on health recovery whenever we get the debuff. So, let's give extra protection too. Counter chance. Counter chance. Okay. Maybe you're losing health fast. Wow, look at all that protection on Kano. So here's Plo Koon. He, in my mind, needs another rework. He is basically a stealth dispeller. Which, if I remember in my whole entire time watching the Clone Wars, he wasn't really a much of a stealth dispeller. Maybe except that one time when he tried to get, um, or a sing out of hiding for to find Boba Fett after killing Pawns, but other than that, that's basically it. Um, this one is good. Dispel all positive stat effects. And 50% chance to dispel all positive stat effects instead. And if effect is dispelled, Plo Koon gains defense up for three turns. That one is fine. I like that. The second one though, deals special damage to all enemies with a 70% chance to inflict offense down for three turns. 
and he's right now at six stars if you see the bottom left hand corner six stars 78 and I think gear level seven I believe or eight one of those but I'll show you what that does and then the last one is kind of good take charge all allies gain defense up for three four turns lone allies gain 50% turn meter so everybody gains defense up but Jedi and clone allies gain 50% turn meter that's kinda good I guess the only thing that I have is, is his unique or his leadership I mean and this second move here which I'll do right now so force judgment so you saw how much damage the other people were doing to these scout troopers you'll see how much this does absolutely nothing it's just special damage which is stupid in my mind but uh, either way I hope it gets a rework he needs to be like the wolf pet company commander which is what he is and think have synergy with Ahsoka Tano too if we get a younger version because right now we have the season 3 version um, let's give everybody 25% turn meter, 50% turn meter, and this is Kit Fisto. I'm not really talking about him because I'm not working on him. He's an episode 2 character. So after all the all these Jedi here that you see except for Kanan and Kit Fisto, I will work on Kit Fisto. And Aayla Sakura, and Luminara, and Barris, and hopefully ki Mundi if he ever comes out and all the other Jedi that we don't have. Yeah, that's him. He's only, I think, four star, five star, I think. I don't really use Gifizzo right now. I heard he's good though. So is Ayla. I heard Ayla's super good. So I can't wait to work on her. She was hard to gear up. She was like the last Jedi to be reached a purple gear. It's a taunt. Okay, good. That's why I like if Mr. He can tank again. I keep multi tech. Um, ETH cost is fine. I guess. Like, how I was gonna make him better. He got captured by General Grievous during the Clone Wars. He put up a good fight. It's only stage two. I was headed boss battle. And force judgment. So everybody has offense down. Which I guess is good. I should get rid of the stormtrooper that doesn't have offense down. Oh, we can't attack that exposed enemy. Oh no. Turn meter. Exposed. There, you just got some turn meter back. Not that much, though. Um, let's give protection up to this window. Stun. Dang. I'm so glad Kanan has counter chance. That is good. Can't wait to see it on the other Phoenix allies. Which I will try, I will figure it out off camera and let you know by the time of. I think it's Zeb next. So, we shall see. Oh, okay. This doesn't look that hard. It's just the Stormtrooper Commander. Which is only good at healing people. Uh, Magma Trooper, that can be dangerous. Yeah, that. 
Yeah, Magma Trooper is based off a character in uh, Star Wars Battlefront. So he just did the thermal imploder from that game. Which is good. Magma Trooper is not really well geared for me. I know he is for a lot of people and he's good somewhat at that. Um, oh yeah. Okay, get Fisto. Bonus attack. Let's see if Qui Gon that attack. Mace Windu. Oh, yep, there was that exposed, so you can kill enemies a lot faster if you have Mace. And 25, so we have 65 out of 25. So let's go unlock Kanan. Omega Battles Coruscant and Omega Battles Imperial Fleet. So I have so many Omegas. Yeah, chopper in 15 hours. So yeah, let's go to the tab of Phoenix. So you can see all the Phoenix characters. There's only three: Hera, Kanan, and Chopper. Chopper is only at 18 out of 25, so we should have him in a few days. So we have 18, and we go to inbox, daily login rewards. So we'll have Chopper by presumably this day. Even though we'll have some shards left over, we'll have him by that day. And then we'll be able to do both versions of the, both one, tier one and tier two. So I don't know what two two unlocks. Maybe even more chopper shards? I don't know. Because apparently we can get up to three star chopper. I think. Can he get it before? No, only three. Okay. So let's go unlock Kenan Jarus. Also known as Caleb Doom. The guy blind man that got blinded by Maul. Two star Kanan Jarus. He is a durable Phoenix tank that keeps enemy offense crippled and allies healthy. Jedi Rebel Phoenix tank. And let's promote to three stars. Now, it is said that once you get all the phoenix people all the ghost crew you can actually the next event after that will be unlocking the ghost and phantom 2 now i don't know what level they'll be but i believe it'll be three star but if i had to be somewhat scared four star as we need to have them at um, let's go start gearing him up. Let's go. Let's go to level. Not to f let's do 40 for now. So we can actually have some to gear. I'm just gonna bring him to the max gear I can bring him at without any sim tickets. Because I'm saving it for a platoon. Craft, equip, 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 upgrade. As long as he gets clear mind, good, we're good. So counter chance, 35% counter chance, and now he's gonna have 40% counter chance. So you can only bring them up to here. I'm gonna try to. What am I missing? Oh, five of those. Okay, never mind. Yeah, I want to get total defense up, but he needs five of those. And those things are hard. And Plo Koon needs them too, so. Yeah, we only have one sand ticket. Uh, that's bad. 
Um, in that case then, can we bring him any higher, or can I bring Pokun up to 80? Because I know he needs that for the Omega of Take Charge. Yeah. Bring him to 79 though, so I'll do that. Let's see, all the favorites. That's what they all look like right now. We have one, two, three, four characters at 85. None of them at max gear level. And one, two, three, four, five, six characters at seven stars. So of the nine characters, six of them are at seven stars. Job is going to take a while. Because I'm not actively working on it. And let's go down to the bottom. I don't think he's that far down. If I had to guess, he's probably right next to Hera. No, he's not. Where is he? There he is. He's in green gear still. Let's do that. 46. So he's uh, okay. And we finally have a Kane and Jaros in this game. The Rebels characters are actually common characters in this game. So you can actually team them up with other characters. So if I wanted to, I can go to. Let's go fight some stormtroopers. Fight some stormtroopers. Fight some stormtroopers. Cannot find any stormtroopers. Oh my goodness. Okay, there you go. Oh, no thaw too. Yeah, let's go do that. Fight. Correct. Uh, Grand Moff Tarkin. Even though it's level 60. Oh, he might die. Quickly. Um, who else can we team him up with? Let's do Barris. Level 85. And we can team him up with Hera. There you go. We're gonna die. Just letting you know. This will end in defeat. Unless we can invent some careful characters. Which I'll do Rex and let's do Lander. So I just wanna see if Hera gets the counter chance as well. suffer a debuff, dang it. So, unless Stormtrooper is going to inflict a debuff. Then, I don't think any of them will be counter chancing. Especially when they have Rex in the game. In this team. Which is the debuff king. I mean, it's the dispeller king. Squad discipline. Let's just do that just cause. Back up plan. Hmm. So as we're actually winning this. Especially when you have all the characters except for Bears on the back, which is an ally character with no protection and not geared up. Yeah, Grandma Target will give dispels. 
not using that second ability right now for X because that will give everybody tenacity up and we don't want tenacity up. Oh wow, they both counterattacked. If you saw that, Hera and Kanan both counterattacked. Oh my goodness, this is actually going to be true. So if all the Phoenix allies give each other, give all other Phoenix allies their unique abilities, all the Phoenix allies will counterattack. So you can have a chance of Kanan, Hera, Zeb, Sabine and Ezra all counterattacking at the same time. So you can have like a I'm a gonna die lead, but better. Cause if they give anything off Oh my god, there it is. So, and if they give anything off when they attack to all other allies, then this is going to be an endless chain of helping each other, which is what the ghost crew is about. So yeah, that is it for now. We don't even have the other Phoenix allies in the game, but I think they should be at it soon. But yeah all of them are coming in we have chopper right now oh kanan hera we're just missing zeb sabine and ezra and for what i've read sabine has the dark saber called dark saber slash or strike or something like that but it looks really cool it's going to be the first time the Dark Saber's in this game. And I hope it comes in again as Pre Vizsla. I'm just saying. We really need Pre Vizsla. We're missing a lot of characters too. But apparently, if we can have somehow the Stan in this game, then I think we can have anything. If you don't know who Bastan is, that's the monkey from Rogue One that was shooting at the at, -AT from the U-Wing despite why well, he has a U-Wing yep um, okay what else so yeah that's about it about to get the shore trooper just got 10 more shards the other day and those are all the characters that I'm missing Jumma Kenobi's gonna take forever. We just did a heroic AAT raid the other day. And we only got to like what? Phase 2? We were in the middle of phase 2 when it ended. Couldn't beat it. I don't know what's going on. Yeah, so stay tuned for more videos. And happy Rebels Month.